Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. Today is Thursday. It's April the 22nd, believe it or not. It's National Earth Day. You know what I always say. Happy Earth Day oh, to yes, you. yes, I do. <coughs> I won't sing the whole darn thing. I just got a, <coughs> I got a tickle in my throat. You know that's, what that was? That's that God, was God trying to stop me us. from singing. <laughs> 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 it's National Girl Scout Leaders Day, National Jelly Bean Day, National Take Our Daughters and Sons to Work Day, National Te- uh, Teach Children to Save Day. All of those things happening on this program. And I've got a Dear John letter to get to. We'll do that before you know it. It's coming up here in a little bit. And uh, I need to finish. Happy Earth Day. Oh, Happy please. Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to you. So you don't like it when I sing to you? Uh, not that particular <laughs> song, no. I do it every year. It's just a thing. All right. Thanks for listening on this Thursday, which happens to be Happy Earth Day. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Despite fear over how intrusive algorithms have become, a new study finds people actually trust their computer more than their fellow man. Researchers at the University of Georgia say it's especially true when people find tasks too challenging to handle alone. They'll take the advice of the computer saying, hey, you should do this instead, rather than saying, hey, how do I do this? Really? (laughs) You ever do that? I do that. I know I do that. Um, A new study by researchers in Australia find that waking up to your favorite song can make you feel more alert and less groggy. This study finds that many people deal with sleep inertia, the feeling of grogginess and lack of alertness from simply not being ready to wake up yet. I am that way every single day. So uh, they say the best way to get out of the sleep inertia is wake up to your favorite song. So maybe we'll play that for you sometime. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's better credit. Cards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. Driver pulled over at 9 p.m., reportedly gave police a false name due to the fact that he had his license suspended, but yeah, the name that he provided... usually doesn't work out very well. Was his brother's name? Guess what? He also had a suspended license. Have you read about this no, guy? No, it's a different guy altogether. Yeah, it's... Huh. Police also noticed the man's mouth was green, and his breath smelled of raw marijuana. He denied anything. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. A small amount of loose marijuana was still in the car. He was cited for pot possession, falsification, and obstruction. His car was towed. He was taken to a nearby gas station to wait for a ride from a licensed driver. Would have been even more interesting if his brother would have showed up. Right. And he got arrested. That would have been. Maybe he did. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't say. But it's a bad idea. And uh, that is why we say kids don't do drugs. Because if you do, this kind of stuff happens. That is what happens when your brain is on drugs. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. A story from last week says Jennifer Lopez posted a photo of herself on Instagram with no engagement ring. Then the next story says Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez have officially broken yep, up. Yep, I heard about it. I That's was too told bad. About they that. were together for a long time, too. You know, I don't know what it is with celebrities and finally taking know. the whole marriage plunge or the know. engagement plunge, but things seem to fall apart. I don't just they? feel bad for them. I, you know, that, for anybody really that's going through that. Struggling Hollywood actor accused of perpetrating a six hundred million, six hundred ninety million dollar Ponzi scheme by pretending to have relationships with movie studios and streaming services. So he was 
making people think, sure, oh, I am working on this deal. And if you, could, um, if you want to invest in this, we got this big movie sure. coming up. People were doling out the dough, and then they find out, wait a minute, you don't have Yikes. any of that? So that's too bad. And a new report claims Prince Harry may stay in England for the Queen's birthday. End of story. <laughs> I don't know well, why that's... that's- Nice. That is nice. I don't know why that's here. This is today's Big Screen Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out out just for a smile weird gift of the day.com that's weird gift of the day.com now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of radio savings.com disney is going to relax some of the restrictions at the theme park for their employees appearances to include uh, now you're going to be able to have some visible tattoos in the past you couldn't okay. they're also going to allow gender inclusive hairstyles i don't know what that means uh, and and Either. and other features. Uh, the company now. Second story here says Disney continues to say they definitely will allow theme park workers to now have visible tattoos. Okay. So I don't know. And here's the thing. I'm not even going to say. I, I read a really funny comment online, but it's not. I'm not going to put it on this You're show. Not. Gonna, no. I kind of like to hear it. I'll tell you off the air. It's just, <laughs> it's just not the John and Heidi show. It's not up to our standards, Heidi. See, we have standards right here. This little line, that's the standards. This is where it lands. Different standards. It lands, boom, right here below the standards. (laughs) Louis Vuitton is now selling a $39,000 airplane-shaped handbag. We were in uh, Beverly Hills, and we went into their store we did. In a, on uh, Rodeo Drive. Yes. But I went in, I asked the lady, I was like, so uh, you work here at Louis Vuitton on Rodeo Drive? And she just looked at me like I was the biggest idiot in the world. I thought you it was You were really, being an idiot. I know. I was just trying it to be really funny. It really was not funny. I was trying to make her smile, but she didn't <laughs> smile at all. I'm sure she I don't know if she was even capable of smiling anymore. She might not be able to. I don't know. <laughs> A man has gone viral after proposing to his girlfriend with not one ring, not two rings, not three rings, not four rings, but count them, five engagement rings. Why? I don't know. Because she has five fingers on that hand. Okay. I, have no idea. I don't know why he did that, but five engagement rings. So there you, you didn't go. do that for me. I only got one. I know. And you even barely got that. So man, you'll be happy with it. <laughs> So enjoy it. Britney Spears is in the news. (laughs) Britney says she's flattered by all the fans who are, quote, concerned with her life, end quote. So there's people that are like, Brittany, I was really concerned when you were going through this and through that. She's like, I'm flattered by that. She thinks that's really cool. Other people we should be concerned for, Mr. Justin Bieber said he once had a drug problem so bad his bodyguards would check his pulse when he would go to sleep. Oh, my god! Because he would pass out so quickly they thought he was dead. Oh, my gosh. Justin, I hope you got that under control. That's a bad, bad thing. If not, get get the help because, boy, oh, boy, you don't want to. It's the wrong road to be on, so not good. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time right now for Dear John John Letters. Letters. Dear John. All right, Heidi, I got a a nice letter here, and I'm excited to see what Heidi says because she is really, 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 really good at this kind of thing. So here we go. Dear John, an accountant friend offered to do my taxes for free. She knows this last year was a tough year for my family. How should I thank her properly? Would it be better to give her a gift or would it be better to send her cash? That seems kind of silly because maybe I should have just paid her for her services, then we'd be even. How do you thank someone who's not charging you for their services? Signed, Grateful Friend. Now, again, I'm going to yield the floor to Heidi because Heidi is super awesome 
at making sure that people understand how much she appreciates things. Uh, there's like love languages, and yours is definitely gift giving. Gifts. I She's good at love this. gifts. So in a situation like that, would it be better to give a gift or to give the person cash? A gift. So, and I was thinking the same thing because I was thinking, well, they if know. She wanted cash. She would have. Yeah, just cash. should have charged you. Maybe even now, said, "I'll and, give you a discount and here's or whatever." The thing, if she, she already has said she wanted to do it because it's been a tough year for you. So if there's something that you make, yeah, that you are are passionate about that you that you make that you can do with with little expense to yourself because she want she didn't want to put a burden on you so yeah. she doesn't want you to go out and spend a bunch of money it. um then then make her something from your heart that that you know that she will enjoy that she can maybe use in her office and and i would focus on okay what she does for a living so what she does she works with numbers yeah. and so maybe you buy some um, fabric and make a that has numbers all over it and make a little throw pillow for her front office area. That's that's just a little number throw pillow for her for a chair in her front office. Or make a collage of a bunch of different numbers and put it in a really cool frame that she can hang in her office. Something like that. Something that's going to be meaningful that she can use in her office that shows that you took the time to think about her. And uh, I, I just think that it's it's easy to do if you just take the moment to think about what would be meaningful. And one of the things that I would tell you, some people do things because they want to help. And it's going to be hard for them to receive something back. Because they didn't, you know, I, I'm, I'm guessing this accountant friend of yours probably did this because she wanted to help. Yeah. And if she wanted something in return, I don't know that she, she would have, have even done it you. this way. Yeah, yeah, I think then she would have said, well, I'll give you a discount. I know it's been sure. tough. I can. So sometimes it's really hard for people to receive. And that's really tough. Um, we had a gentleman on this program a couple years ago, uh, Michael Jr. He's a Christian comedian. Very funny guy. But I actually went to one of his events, and he was talking about that very thing, where some people need to just open their heart to getting to receiving. Like that's hard for you because you're yeah. a giver, and you're always giving, 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 and you need to let somebody else give for once. Mm-hmm. So in this situation, grateful friend, maybe you need to open your heart and say, "I'm going to just receive this. And I'm going to thank her, and I'm going to make sure she knows how much I appreciate it." But if you're going, okay, well, it, was good. it would have cost me this much, so I need to do something in return for that much. No, that's not. That's not what she wanted. You, she wanted to bless you, or she wouldn't have done that. You know, she wanted to help you, or she wouldn't have done that. Right. So, again, I I think that you definitely want to make sure that you show her that you're grateful, and I think that you you thank her. But uh, in this question where you're going, would it be better to send her cash or give her a gift? Or I think you're already putting way more thought into it. A sincere thank you. And a cool gift, like Heidi was saying, I love that idea of doing something that's kind of tied to what she yeah. does, you know. And and if you, uh, it doesn't say what her her occupation is, but if you make something for a living, it'd be cool to say, you know what, I'm doing something for you. And she might even say, you know what, don't do it for me, do it for this other place, pay it forward somewhere else. But I think that's really cool. If you have a neat idea on how grateful fa- friend could uh, help somebody out, uh, this person out that that did something nice for her. You can chime in on our Facebook page. And I would love it if other people would give their ideas too, because Heidi's idea is a great idea. I think what I said, I think it's got some solid uh, footings because it's not from me. It's from somebody really smart. Uh, But if you would like to chime in with your own advice, or if you've got a question for next week, you can do it all at the same place. Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Dozens of bodies were once found in Benjamin Franklin's basement. What? Yeah. Multiple skeletons found in the basement of Franklin's London home. The bones discovered during a 1998 renovation of the house identified being from nearly dozens of people, including six children. The most plausible explanation is not a mass murder, but an anatomy school run by Franklin's young friend and protege, William Hewson. Okay. So uh, they say they don't think there's any funny business going on. Uh, they do believe these bodies might have been stolen from graveyards and then sold to them. So interesting stuff. 
So I didn't know. Did you know anything about that? I did not. How am I the last to find I out about these things? I never heard that in my well, life. Well, now you have because it's today's fun fact. And now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's better creditcards.com Now radiotravelgroup.com presents a news headline from somewhere in this world Dateline France A skier in France has gone viral by strapping a giant fan to his back and using it to propel him to the top of a mountain I didn't realize that would work Did you think that would work? No, it sounds like a it sounds like a Wiley like Coyote, a Wiley Coyote yeah. experiment So he strapped a fan to his back and use that to propel himself to the That's top of the mountain. That's actually really funny. So the fan must have been blowing down and propelling him up. I was, hmm, I don't know. The whole thing just seems weird to me. But apparently, it worked, and the fan was from Acme. <laughs> that, <laughs> I wouldn't way, doubt it. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's for all the people my age and older. <laughs> for the younger kids, you can Google that, and you can Google Wiley Coyote. How's that That's sound? Wiley Coyote. Yeah, this has been a news headline from somewhere in this world. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com 32-year-old Huntsville man arrested after he threw a Molotov cocktail at police and threatened them with a machete and a knife. Oh my. Bad idea. Daniel Joseph Harvey took police on a chase through the streets and occasionally lobbing Molotov cocktails from his mother's Jeep Liberty. Two of the devices caused fire on pavement. The incident started at 10.40 a.m. That's not when I was expecting this to be happening. Uh, It says a a deputy saw him pulling into a parking lot on a temporary holding facility, and he has battery charges pending against him from an incident back in October. That's when they said, hey, we'd, we'd like to talk to you, and he took off. He recognized them through a Molotov cocktail. Who drives around with those, by the way? Yeah, you just happen just to have a, that in his vehicle. It's like a glass bottle filled with some sort yeah. of uh, liquid flammable that's flammable. Liquid. Yeah. You light it and throw it. That, that's what that is. Who has those? Anyway, brandished a knife, turned into quite the deal, and got himself in a, in a lot of trouble. Uh, charged with attempted murder and many yeah, other things. Good. Bad idea. It's definitely today's Weird News. Now your moment of duh comes your way, courtesy of Radiosavings.com. Two women tried to use a $1 million bill to purchase some merchandise at a Dollar General. According to investigators, the duo appeared at a convenience store last week. They attempted to use a counterfeit bill, but it was thwarted by the Dollar General employee who knew that they didn't have a $1 million bill. Yeah, how? who would... I mean, you you buy something at Dollar Tree and you think you're going to get change back for a million dollars. They don't have change for that because there is no no million dollar bill. They called the police over the suspicious incident. 39-year-old Amanda McCormick, who had the bill, said uh, she was also accompanied by a relative, Linda Johnson McCormick. She said she got the bill from... A church. They sent it to her through the mail, but they said which church. And she's like, I don't know, some uh-huh. some church. Turns out uh, she had a whole shopping cart full of items from the store, gift cards, other businesses. They said this is classified as fraud by false pretense. Yeah. They were not arrested though. Instead, they were issued a verbal no trespass warning, prohibiting them from ever coming back to the Dollar General. So really, they that, weren't arrested for trying to. Well, that use... might be worse than being arrested. They can't go back. <laughs> so let let that sink in, Heidi. Today's, Think about what you've yes, done. It's today's moment of duh. Brought to you by RadioSavings.com. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At InsuranceChicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that. 
But I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Is It a Golf Course or Is It a Rehab Center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. Let me see if I got a good one here. Uh, here we go. Whispering Pines, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Heidi, is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Whispering Pines, I'm going to say Whispering golf Pines. course. And the answer is, uh, ladies, shh, 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 everybody quiet, quiet. Yes! Yeah. Golf clap for Heidi! There we go, I'm back! You are back. <laughs> well, probably just for a day. You've been pretty shoddy on this, it's you know? Been, it's been pretty Kind of good, <laughs> kind of bad. Kind of, you have like a three-day streak, and then it's like uh, like a nine-day streak of being wrong. Can we go back to fake news or Florida? No, uh, I like this. People, <laughs> I like this, people like this, and gosh darn it, we're going to keep doing it. It's a fun little thing called... Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. This is really a cool story. Now, I have to first admit, we are not sports fans. We're not. Not so even a little. I'm hoping I don't say any names wrong. And if I do, it's because I'm not a sports fan and I don't know any of these people. But... I think this is pretty straightforward. Freddie Freeman surprises a young Philly fan after the act of kindness was caught on video. During a Phillies series open loss to the Braves, a young Phillies fan came down, uh, came just inches away, rather, from catching Freddie Freeman's two-run home run. The ball fell down into the bullpen instead. A few attempts to get it, the young man finally wound up with the ball. But the best part was yet to come. Video shows the Phillies fans... Give the ball to the young Braves fan in a Freddie Freeman jersey. But the heartwarming story doesn't end there. The act of kindness by the Phillies fan also captured the eyes of the guy who hit the home run. Video shared by the Braves on Sunday showed the father and son once again in the stands. And all all of a sudden, guess who walks up? Freddie Freeman himself. He walked up and spoke to the young man. There's video of all of this stuff, by the way. Uh, And he autographed another ball and gave it to him. So... Aww. That was really cool. And he said, uh, and it also has another player's uh, autograph on it. So really, really cool story. Because it's a young man who got the, he did get the ball and then he gave it to somebody else. That's great. And they're like, you know what? We're going to. I love it when that happens. I think that's so sweet. going to do something nice for you. So that is just really, really cool. I've got a link to that story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great Thursday. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show.